Hello, in this video we will take a look at how to use Thales, the number one NFT marketplace on Injective. First things first, we go here on the top right and we connect our wallet. There are a few wallets that you can connect um, and as you can see on the top here yeah, I have a few. But I'm going to use Capilla this time. You can also use Leap, Metamask. Um, and the other two they will come but uh, yeah okay first if if you if it's the first time connecting to the platform you need to accept these terms of services the terms of service okay and now we can um, see that I have 4.5 inch in this wallet this is the, um, the overview and um, let's say that we want to buy a collection or buy, buy an NFT of a collection. We can go down a bit. Here you have the current auctions, the latest auctions, uh, latest collections that came into Thales and uh, the most followed artists. So let's take a look, for example, at the ninjas. Here you have some filters. Let's take, let's put this down. You can um, choose the traits. For example, let's choose a crown on the head. And then the crowns will appear. You can sort it. Um, you have the, the, you have different possibilities on how to sort it. For example, on from low to high. Then this will be the cheapest and you could click on buy here. However, we don't even have enough money in it, so it will not work. But this in theory is how it works. Let's take a look at a, a different collection. For example, let's go to the rock burps. Okay. The rock burps. So here you have a sweep function, so you can um, put in the total amount of inch that you want to spend, for example 200 inch, then you click on sweep and it uh, just sweeps um, as much as possible uh, until the you don't have any inch anymore basically to pay for the next one. You can also click on auctions here, then you will see the auctions that are here. Um, and um, you can also make um, a collection offer so like this and then you would for example say match best offer or you can also type in your own offer at the moment the highest collection offer is 13.11 so you could for example say I want to put in 13.5 or 14 inch something like that Okay, like we saw before, here are some filters. Let's go now to another collection and buy an NFT. Let's go to the Divine Beings. Okay, sometimes it bugs a bit, so you have to reload in this case. And it should be fine. Okay, so here you have a few. And uh, let's say we want to, to buy this one. We could immediately click on the buy button and it leads us to this, um, well, to the pop-up where we approve and it's done. Or we can click on the NFT in question and we can take a look at the different traits. So, and we can also see the rank. We can see the history. We can look at the owner. We can see how much does that uh, person have. So a lot is a lot is possible on Talis. That's something that's really cool. Let's go on to the quants, and let's go go and look at the analytics. So you have a lot of different analytics. You can switch here between last hour, last six hours, twenty four hours, and last week. You can look at the uh, uh, floor price, 
and yeah you basically have a lot of metrics here you can see uh, look at the top owners how much they have who it is for example here is the <laughs> the one the one and only the ceo um of injective labs labs and yeah there's a lot of different metrics that you can take a look at you can also look at the activity of the last day week month or year you can look at the purchases so the last one was 48 seconds ago for 11 inch you can also look at the listings the last one was two seconds ago for 14 inch there was a listing so it's a very complete platform and um, yeah what else could we do i think that's all what we can also see is that uh, some collections like the quants for example they it says how how often that trade um, basically how rare the trade is so for example the background lavender this one 17 percent of the nfts have it but the head the red sam samurai head only one percent has it so that gives you also an idea on how rare it is but of course the easiest is just to look at the rank um, not all collections have the ranks enabled only it, that is up to each um, artist to decide so sometimes you you see the ranks like here and sometimes you don't okay let's go ahead and buy an nft let's get ourselves the divine being here let's buy it approve and done that's how easy it is. You can burn the NFT, you can send the NFT, but for all of that, I recommend to always go here to my tallies, then to my NFTs, and then you can see that you have, I have one NFT now here. This is to create like uh, a deal basically, so you can put, um, you can, in private you can talk with another uh, user and you can say hey i want to sell my nft but i want to sell it to you for this price and then you can create an escrow so you put nft up and um, yeah you show the title uh, you you set the title and then here you would do you would put in the address of the your friend or whoever uh, of the of the other party basically then you would select the nft and um, the price and that's it on the other side the person would put in the inch and then both can accept and it goes through it's like a deal you can also look at the history of course i have no history at the moment this is a brand new wallet but then you could see when was the last time that you sold something purchased something and so on so let's go here You can also send it like that and then you would type in the wallet where you want to send it okay for now that's all and we will do another video one day on how to stake talis tokens because actually there is a way to have governance on the platform and it's very interesting but uh, this will be a video on its own all right thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any new videos on different topics on how to use the apps on Injective and uh, yeah, educate yourself.